So today I want to speak about this incident, a recent stabbing death of a Jamaican national in Grenada. And before I go any further, I want to express my deepest sympathies and condolences to the family of that Jamaican gentleman, businessman who operated his jerk chicken spot in Grenada, in St. George's, Grenada. Now, the story as I heard it is that I guess someone came to his establishment to buy a portion of jerk chicken and the guy probably have said well it's ten dollars and the guy said well i only have five whatever the altercation was between the argument of the five dollar jerk chicken versus the ten dollar jerk chicken anyway the guy went and he get his friend they came back altercation broke out they threw stones at the guy's establishment he probably came out of there and he was stabbed and he later died right um a very 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 sad incident and I believe for the person or persons who did this crime deserve to be in jail. Now, I speak for not only myself, but I know a lot of Grenadians who are watching this and a lot of Grenadians who learned of this story. This is a very sad and isolated incident. What made me really want to do this video was after I looked and I saw someone, I guess a Jamaican vlogger, posted this new story and tagged it in a Jamaican uh, group saying something to the extent, don't quote me on this, let's boycott Grenadians, they're Grenada, they're killing Jamaicans. And that's where I thought that that was go going a little bit too far. Now let me explain to everyone about Grenada. Grenada is a small island in the Caribbean, about 100,000 people or more, a little bit over 100,000 people. The murder rate in Grenada for the year is possibly like under 10. If it's 10, is 10 or a little bit over 10, that is the death toll. That, that's the murder rate for Grenada for the year, right? Grenada, and although that 10, 10 is still a lot. If it is 10, 10 is still a lot. And for one, is a lot. But Grenada is not a place where you find widespread murders happening. Grenada is not that type of place where there is mass uh, unrest and people killing people all over the place. And like any other Caribbean island, everyone have their disputes and fights and all of this stuff. This happens anywhere in the world. You'll find that. But Grenada is not a place that, uh, that you find a high level of crime. So I would deem that as an isolated incident. The person or persons involved in this particular killing did not isolate the Jamaican as a Jamaican and let's go kill that particular Jamaican. They, just like any other criminal, did something that a criminal would do. They have criminal mind. Whether it was a Grenadian that they killed or a Jamaican or anybody else, they are ignorant and they deserve to be in jail. And nobody in Grenada is celebrating the fact of the death of anyone in Grenada. We are not saying that this situation is a great, yeah, let's go out and kill Jamaicans. Let's go out and kill. No, no, no. That doesn't happen. This is the people in Grenada is not like that. Grenada is a place any time of the day, any time of the night, any visitors from anywhere could come and walk the street from Granans to, 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 to St. George's any day of the week. And you would find people meeting you and tell you, good morning, how are you? Our tourism industry has rise because people understand and know that Grenada is that type of place. So when that rumor start to go out like, let's boycott Grenada because like Grenadian killing Jamaican, that is not happening. That is absolutely not happening. Now, on top of that now, I was scrolling the internet today and I saw a, a Jamaican vlogger, SoFlow TV, um, who I, I watch from time to time. And I saw he made mention of it. Another one is a businessman, a Grenada MD. The brother in Grenada and have an argument over a young with a young youth over jerk chicken. He's running a mobile business, right? In jerk chicken place. The youth come and say him want that portion of jerk chicken there. The man tell him says ten dollars for it. The youth say five dollar me have. The man says ten dollars for it. The youth cuss him out, left. The youth come back later with a group of other youth, fling beer big stone upon the man business. The man must have come out and argue with them. He stabbed the man. The man goes to hospital. The man dies. Headline says Jamaican stabbed and killed in Grenada over jerk chicken. Be careful out there, people. So I want to be very, very clear. This is not happening 
in Grenada. Grenada is one of the places that tourists would often say that is one of the nicest places in the Caribbean because of the friendly people. We have carnival mass in the night and there's no widespread molestation in terms of that aspect. Now, let me just also say, in terms of molestation and, 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 and murders and stuff like that, Grenada is not a place where nothing happened. Just like any other part of the world, you have ignorant people, you have people who just criminals and deserve to be locked up, deserve to be incarcerated. And Grenada is one of those places as well. There are a minority few of people that does commit crime, you find molestation, you find this little stuff happening, what is isolated. There is no widespread killing of anybody in Grenada, especially other nationals. Because let me tell you one thing that we understand, our crime rate is tied directly to our tourism industry. Every Grenadian or most Grenadian benefit drastically and dramatically from the fact that tourists come to our shows. Hundreds and thousands of tourists come to our shows because they know that this is a place that it's safe, they can have a good time, and nobody will do them anything. There was a report that says Grenadian people are so nice that when you come down to the shows of Grenada and you want to go somewhere, you know, you will ask someone, okay, how do you get to that place? Grenada is not only going to point you to the location, they would walk you to the location. They would show you. We understand that our crime rate and our sense of being a friendly island tie directly to our tourism. And Grenadians benefit from that. We benefit from that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, of, of promotion in the island. And it probably needs to be more. That, that, that tells the population that we need to be friendly to our, our neighbors. We need to be nice. And, 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 and we, need to, we need to embrace and love everyone, our people, our visitors, our tourists. And this is what Grenadian embrace. Now, a lot of people might be saying, oh, yeah, you're putting Grenadian up on a star like Grenada is not, they don't have crime and all that other stuff. I'm not saying that. Grenada, like any other island in the Caribbean, like any other country in the world, has its share of crime. But Grenada is not an island that would, commit, would have a widespread amount of crime. In addition, Grenadians are not out to kill Jamaicans. It is, it, is, it, is, it is sad to think, it is sad to think, and for people to put that out there, like this is happening, this is not happening. This is not what's happening. So I want the people who are sharing these videos and saying, let's boycott Grenada, let's not go to Grenada, telling their friends and them, oh, um, Grenada is like this and Grenada is like that, and sharing the news report that said of the Jamaican murder, like if we are celebrating this. No one in Grenada is celebrating the, the, the fact that someone lost their life. No one in Grenada is saying, yeah, this is a great thing. Yeah, let's kill this person or let's go out and kill this person. This is not celebrated. Mind you, the guys had a day in court. They're going to go back again. And if found guilty, they will be charged for non-capital murder. They will spend a long time in jail. Heard it was four men, right, who eventually came out and did that. Those guys are criminals, and everybody, no one is celebrating them. No one is, it has, a, has a, a flag up and waving for them. Yes, good job. This is not happening, right? They are going to spend the, the time in jail to, re, to reflect on killing another individual. I'm not even sure that they knew that the guy was Jamaican. So, for, so it's not like it, it is out there, let's go out and, yeah, let's do this to Jamaican. This is not happening. So to SoFlo, so to everybody else who is, is talking about this, for people who is sharing this video, for people who say let's boycott Grenada, this is a waste of time because this is not what's happening, right? If you, anyone take a trip and go down to Grenada, they would see and understand and feel the friendliness of the people. And that is who Grenadian is. Grenadians are nice and loving people, all right? So this is not happening, guys. Again, condolences to the family. And I speak for myself and other Grenadians when I say that we share and love and appreciate everyone from no matter what island, no matter what country, no matter what race, no matter what creed. If you turn on the radio any day in Grenada, the amount of Jamaican music that you would hear on the airwave, they idolize people like Popcorn and Alkaline and Bunk the Killer and Buju Bantan and look, Beris, Beris Harmon. All of these names are celebrities in Grenada right grenadians uh, they have so, so, such a such a such an attachment to jamaican grenadian artists sing reggae 
we are one Caribbean. We don't see it as who better than who, and this one bigger than this one. Grenada and Jamaica has always enjoyed a great relationship and a great friendship. So don't try to break that relationship and friendship by negating, by, by taking an incident which is isolated and trying to make it look as if it's this massive under attack. We are under attack by Grenadians. This is not happening, guys. The, this is a waste of time to even have this conversation and try to stir up a feud that is non-existent. This is a non-existent feud. This is an isolated incident and it's not even something that, that, that we need to take it to the next level and make people feel that there is some kind of problem between Grenadians and Jamaicans. Again, and I express and I will continue to reiterate, Grenadians, this particular incident is a sad incident where somebody lost their life. And we express condolences to the family who of the fa of, of, of the young man who lost his life. But this would not this would not bring down or take away or separate the relationship that Grenadians enjoy with Jamaicans. I have a lot of Jamaican friends, I have a lot of Jamaicans colleague, business partners. I work with so much Grenadian Jamaican businesses and we have no problem. This is not happening. This is a non existent feud. And although we express our sympathies to the family, this could have happened to another Grenadian businessman. Some people are idiots. In every country you find them. Okay? All right.